Okay, so what I want to do in this video is show you a few scenarios you may encounter, I've certainly encountered when using the B-Beat with videos and the issues you might encounter and a few solutions possible along the way. Just to talk you through the setup, we've got the B-Beat here using the HDMI out on this red cable. Um, the ideal situation we'll start with is where your display is connected to the B-Beat before you power up the system. This isn't always possible, but I will talk about that as we go through. Okay, so here is the uh, HDMI to the display. Here is the HDMI from the B-Beat, and we're gonna connect them up, and we're gonna power up the B-Beat. And whilst we're doing this, the display is behind. Um, this is a 1920 by 1080 display which is probably uh, the optimal display at 60 frames, 60 hertz. So as you beat up, uh, boot up with the BB Connect, you can see the logo up here on the screen in the background there. And we're ready to go. And I can hit play and I get my video just as desired. Now, one caveat on this is my holding screen, the default screen, which I want doesn't always appear. So when there's no video playing, that should be on there. This seems to be a situation with the firmware and the current firmware, if you can see on there, I don't know, is version 4.0.3. The way to uh, get around this is it needs a little kickstart. And the way I found it doing it is going to the option setting, um, video output in the options. And will that even, uh, there we go, just by going to the option, our holding screens come up. Now I'm told you can actually get around this by doing the quick restart, which is in the menu. So we go back to the options, a quick restart, hit that, start again, and again, a very quick reboot. There's the B-Beat logo in the background, and our holding screen is back. So that's another fix, a little bit longer. You choose your own route. So that's the optimal situation. HDMI, straight to your device, and you shouldn't have too many issues. You could have a device, a display of a different resolution. We're gonna talk about that later on. Now let's show you what happens if you boot up, and we'll just shut this down. If you boot up with no display connected, this often happens because um, in my experience, you know, setting the audio up is priority. The video seems to be the last thing to set up and it could be you have all your audio set up and by the time you get around to connect the video, you're gonna encounter these problems. So let's just boot up. As I said, the HDMI is disconnected. As part of the boot up process, there's actually a handshake between the B-Beat and the display device and it initializes and establishes what the resolution is. I'm told by the uh, developers that if you've not got a device connected, uh, a screen device, it will reset back to a default of 1920 by 1080. So now we're booted up. If I plug this in, we're not going to see anything because we saw earlier that the screen's off, but we'll just press play. And you can see that this display is quite happily accepting the um, the default output, not established during the handshake of the boot up. I'm going to press stop. I haven't got my holding the screen there. Let's just try a quick restart with the display connected and see if that gets us our holding screen. I'll call it the holding screen. It's the screen that's always on when nothing else is on. I think in the um, settings it's called the beat, the, uh, the default image. So there we go, we're doing a quick restart. You can see the logo up and I've got my holding screen on now. So maybe if you're in a situation where you don't have a chance to put your video on, um, get all your audio set up and then do the reboot like that. If we dis dis uh, detach the display, obviously it will go off, but that should reestablish when we plug back in. Give the display a few seconds to uh, do its thing. And there we go. Now just to kind of um, make this a little bit clear, I'm gonna do this situation again. And 
another situation you might encounter is if the display isn't 1920 by 1080. This has been encountered before. Certain festivals may use different resolution screens, weird sizes. Um, maybe it's not full HD. Maybe it's a square image. You might need to use a scaling device. So what we're going to do here is we're going to actually plug the output from the B-Beat into, I'll just show you quickly here, a decimator, which is a bit of an industry standard scaling device, and that will give us a display of the output. I'll just get that onto the screen. So here in the corner you can see the decimator, our scaling device, and what we see on there, the H, is the HDMI output from the B-Beat. And I've gone through this and into our monitor at the back. And we can see our display there. So what we're going to do, we're just going to shut down the B-Beat. And if you watch the decimator, our H, to tell us what signal we've got from the B-Beat, you can see what happens during the boot process. So I'm going to go to boot up with our HDMI uh, device connected and watch the decimator picking up the signal from the booting up BB. There we go, it flashes on, off, and then it's trying to establish the, uh, the signal has gone off again. So there was a brief occurrence of the signal going out. At this point, it's reverted to its default 1920 by 1080 which we saw earlier if connected directly to the device we may have to sort of do a quick restart to get the picture going on this situation though going through the scaler we saw it attempted to get the signal on boot up but since it's fully booted up it seems to have failed the h there says we've got no signal and this is a problem encountered oh, excuse me through using uh scaler if we've got a, a different device so we need to find a way around this now, one way around it is we could boot up with the display attached, which might not be the right display, and then switch to the decimator or scaling device of your choice and then get things working then. Currently, this situation is one that's presented a headache to me for quite some time, and I think I found a workaround, which I'm going to share with you soon. We can see here we've got no video, we've got no signal on the decimator, on the scaling device. As I said, the way around it, and if I can just show you this, to show you there is actually a signal, I will take the BB out and the HDMI device and connect them together. So just watch the display at the background. There we go, we have actually got a display going through the signal. The scaler unit didn't pick up or it didn't like the device, um, the signal from the B beat for some reason. So the way around this, there's a couple of solutions. One I've just shown you there. Also, you may need to output to different output types, uh, VGA, which I'll cover at the end of the video, and SDI, Serial Digital Interface, which is this. So I bought this little gadget off of eBay, a HDMI to SDI converter, uh, around about 20 quid, so it weren't too dear, and certainly a great little solution if, um, as has happened on many festivals with me, you've had to use an SD or feed the uh, video system with an SDI signal. So we're going to plug this in. So what we're going to do now is plug in the, uh, the SDI converter and obviously we won't see a display because um, we haven't got an SDI source so I'm going to use the uh, decimate converter to show you the input the S on the screen is from the SDI device so here's our converter and if we plug the B-beat output into the converter and obviously apply power to our scaler. Still no signal. So, a quick restart. 
with the uh, HDMI converter on there. And if we see over on the scaling unit, we now have a signal from the SDI signal. If I just flip the uh, source of the scaling unit out, to the SDI input, we should have a display on the screen. So hit play, and there we go. So this can actually help us get things running with the scaling unit. Let's try that one more time. Let's uh, disconnect. So this situation, we're taking our HDMI into the SDI converter which is going to our scanning device. First off, we'll boot up with no signal. Nothing connecting to the uh, video out. This cable is going through our HDMI to SDI converter, and we can monitor the signal on the S on our scanning unit, and this goes out to the display. So this could be a situation where we've got no chance to connect our video up um, during the setup, the sound check if you like, it's the final piece of kit. And quite often the video gets disconnected by whoever's controlling the video, they may be sharing the video with another system or another device. So now we plug in, and we see there's no signal, let's do our quick restart. with the video connected to the HDMI to SDI converter. And straight away we see we've got a signal. And if we hit play, there's our display. Again, no holding screen. As I said earlier, the quick fix, oh it's come up now, but the quick fix was to go into one of the menus. So, if you're using an uh, SDI out, serial digital interface, this kind of uh, connection. This is a great bit of kit. Converts your BB HDMI output to that signal. Just says about 20 quid off of eBay. There's various different makes of this, but um, a handy little bit of kit. Finally, you may be connected to an older system. You may be using a good old VGA. This isn't um, ideal. But again, there's a solution. And these are the kind of solutions I like. Another eBay special, or it may have been Amazon, one of these big retailers. Uh, this is a HDMI to VGA converter. And if we plug that directly into the B beat, let's just make sure we've got a source putting out. Make sure our system's ready to exit the VGA signal. Here's the display, VGA, and if I plug that in there, that just gives a second for the screen to uh, pick up the VGA signal. There we go. So a quick and easy way to get from HDMI to VGA. No additional equipment required. A worst case scenario is you might have a VGA display of a different resolution, in which case you need to use your scanning device. So what we could simply do, well, if you've got a scanning device that is, is to connect your HDMI out to your scanning device. And then, instead of using the HDMI out, connect your VGA converter, plug that in the outputs. And then, connect this to your HDMI 
source, display, whatever. And then let your conversion unit do all the hard work or scaling as you need to. It's worth pointing out though, this um, this is a bit of an industry standard, the, the decimator, very, very useful bit of kit. Um, can also do SDI output, and it's like the Swiss Army knife for video applications. Not the cheapest yet, probably will cost a similar price to, or a little bit less than what the actual BB does itself. But I found this indispensable for many situations, whether it's sending the SDI output, scaling different resolutions. Um, but the issues encountered in the start of the video, we talked about, well, we need to kickstart this using our HDMI to SDI converter. And again, if we disconnect the VGA display and reconnect it, we can see that uh, it doesn't take too long for the signal to fire back up. There we go. So hopefully these situations you don't encounter, but um, definitely worth being aware of it because it's something that uh, has frustrated us quite a few times. And hopefully you cover for all eventualities. HDMI out, the boot up process, getting your default screen back, SDI outs, HDMI outs, rescaling, and even VGA outputs. Hope this video has been useful. Subscribe and like and all that business. And um, have fun with your B-Beat.